Thanks, Riaz. Good morning. The Sochi 2014 Olympic Games officially begin in Russia this morning with the opening ceremony set to get underway. Security around the host city has been significantly stepped up for today's kickoff. Russia has spent almost $50 billion on organizing the event. About 3,000 athletes from around the world will compete in 98 events over 16 days. Canada has sent 220 athletes to Sochi, which is the largest contingent our country has ever sent to a Winter Olympics. Haley Wickenheiser will carry the Canadian flag during today's opening ceremony. Homicide investigators have been called to a Burnaby neighborhood after a suspicious death near the Lougheed SkyTrain station last night. Greg Harper is live in Burnaby with the latest. Greg. Good morning, Jody. Yeah, police are calling it a suspicious death. It's happened here in a busy area in, in Burnaby. We're on the Lougheed Highway near government, very near the Lougheed SkyTrain station, very close to the Lougheed Mall. You can see the investigation is taking place behind me. Just to the right of that command centre is a wooded area that's uh, uh, surrounded by apartment buildings. There are a number of Mounties in there with flashlights right now combing through the area. We have limited information. This is what we do know. Whatever happened here happened around 7.30 last night. When police arrived, they found a uh, uh, a person who was helping a young man on a pathway. Uh, this man was in cardiac arrest. He was rushed to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police aren't saying how he died. They're just calling his death suspicious. This is now an eye hit investigation. Once the male was transported at the hospital, uh, there's information that uh, we have to keep uh, to ourselves uh, to preserve the integrity of the investigation at this point uh, that uh, led uh, to believe that uh, the foul play was involved, and that's the reason why I hit, uh, was contacted. And again, this happened in a, in a busy area here. Just a heads up to people uh, who are going to be commuting uh, in this area. We are on the north side of the Low Heat Highway, and people who are walking east and west, they're being uh, turned around, having to find a, a different route. This area is still taped up, obviously, behind me, and it likely will be for quite some time. Jody? All right, thanks very much. Greg Harper reporting for us this morning from Burnaby. Vancouver police are now investigating a disturbing YouTube video which shows homeless people getting kicked in the groin, apparently in exchange for money. We're also hearing from the man who shot that infamous footage that may be disturbing to some viewers. It appears to be shot in the Granville Entertainment District. A man believed to be responsible has contacted Vancouver police and is cooperating with the investigation, but so far no charges have been laid. Two other men in the video have also been identified. Investigators are asking for anyone else who was in the area when it happened to give them a call. Could you believe what you were seeing? No, it was, uh, it was like watching it. Like, it was like watching it as if I wasn't even there. It was surreal. Just, it was like a movie. What did you think uh, while you were filming this? Uh, it was sad, really, just the fact that people were accepting, like, they need money that badly. They're, like, accepting 50 bucks to get assaulted, pretty much. Two girls who said they were assaulted in East Vancouver over the weekend apparently made the whole thing up. Vancouver police say the 11 year olds told their parents they were involved in an argument with a man over the ownership of their backpacks before he assaulted them. The parents called police and tips from the community identified a 43 year old man as a suspect. Investigators spoke with the girls again to double check their story. Based on those interviews and the information gathered, police now believe that there was a, a dispute over the ownership of the bag. But the story provided by the girls, alleging that they had been assaulted, was fabricated and no assault actually took place. Charges of public mischief will not be recommended because the girls are under 12. Privacy watchdogs are demanding the RCMP and, the, and CSIS be investigated over claims they spied on opponents of Enbridge's proposed Northern Gateway pipeline. The BC Lib Civil Liberties Association has filed two complaints claiming the surveillance was unconstitutional and possibly illegal. Documents released through access to information show the RCMP and CSIS took direction from the National Energy Board to monitor and report on so-called threats to the pipeline's federal review panel. The groups targeted in this monitoring included Idle No More and Forest Ethics. We would like the Commission for Public Complaints of the RCMP and, and CERC uh, to investigate these complaints fully with the agencies involved, with the police and the spy agency, to get to the bottom of what happened, to be reviewing uh, the policies, the practices, and the actual stuff of what happened in these documents. And remember, there's a lot of stuff redacted in these documents that none of us have ever seen that those bodies will be able to see. 
Mounties claim they have not received official notification of the complaint and so are refusing to comment. CSIS denies the claim.